Here is a map of the campground. We're right here. Okay. You're going to go straight, the second left, so on the road T's, you're going to make that left. Okay. Make the first right, you go up, and, 60, and 65 will be on your right-hand side. Okay. And one of the big pull-throughs. Here's some rules for the site and right. the campground while you're here, and then on the back are the hiking trails. If you want to do any hiking while you're here. Awesome. Great. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Here, just going through all the museums if you want. Can you answer what this is? Not sure if we'll come back or not. Like Maybe we've got some extra time. We might try to make a trip up here to check out some of them. This week, we're in San Diego. We're staying at Sweetwater County Park. This is one of the San Diego County Parks. It's located in Bernita. Bonita. Bonita. California. California, which is about 10 miles from San Diego. So it's a great spot to use as a base camp for visiting San Diego. Mm -hmm. It's a nice campground. It's not a huge campground, but it's located on a hill which gives you spectacular views, both of San Diego and south. You actually south that way, right to Mexico. Right, okay. I don't know if we can see to Mexico because there's some hills in the way. Right, but, yeah. right. but it is, it's a very nice location. It's a nice campground. The sites are huge and pretty well distanced. The rate for this campground is $40 a night and we've used it for a great stepping off point to visit San Diego and we'll tell you more about that. During our stay here, we visited San Diego and one of the first things we did is we took the old time trolley tour. And that goes around to 10 different locations. It's a hop on, hop off uh, type trolley so you can visit and stay you know, not however long you want, but you could stay a good time at each location and still make it back to your original parking area. Right, we got off and on at a number of the locations and we were able to check out some of the sites like uh, Cornella. Coronado Beach. Coronado Beach, yep. And uh, Balboa Park. Balboa Park. And we also went to the waterfront and walked around there. Yep. So there, it's, it's a great way to, get, to see the city. You can get one or two day passes. We had a one day pass. Could really almost use the two day pass if you were gonna spend more time in some of the locations. Right, because it only runs until five five o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, and it's about a three hour, two I'd say two to three hour uh, tour if you stayed on it consistently. So some of the spots, if you were getting off at that, their last pickup would be around three o'clock. Right. So. But it, it, it's, Located out of Old Town, San Diego, and that's an area to visit in itself. Um, we did tour around that a little bit. Yes. And we would highly recommend that. Actually, we've done this before. St. Augustine has the same type of tour, and we've done it there. It's really a good way to see a city when you don't have a lot of time. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. And like Randy said, we got off at a few of the locations and spent some time walking around. For a tour of San Diego, we decided to take old town trolleys and use that as a way to get around town, get us through the different areas, and be able to get on and off. And here comes our trolley right here. So we're going to get on this trolley and tour the city. Okay, now we go through all the exciting things. This stop is Seaport Village. It is a little area along the bay that has a number of little shops and such. Approximately 75. Approximately 75, so there's an, that's a number. Yep. <laughs> so we decided to hop off the trolley and take a look around. Yeah, check this out. Behind me is the USS Midway. This is a museum that you can tour. It's a World War II aircraft carrier. If you've got the time, it is kind of worthwhile to do, a, to do one of these tours of the uh, World War II battleship. Behind us is 
is the naval base which is located in San Diego. This section of the waterfront is dedicated to the many people who served our country while being stationed here in San Diego. back on the trolley and continue our tour of San Diego. We're taking across the spectacular Coronado Bridge and the best views of San Diego. Too bad you didn't pick a nicer day, but we will push through this. The bridge is over 250 feet above the harbor and bay to accommodate naval ships. Both sides of the trolley offer great views, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Heading over to Coronado, I like the right side. So if you want to move over now, great views along the way too. That's the only thing I'll suggest to you. We have MTC, but it's not critical. Even going across will be great. We've gotten off the trolley here at Coronado Island, and this is the Hotel Coronado, the world famous hotel that has been used in a number of movies, including some like at Hot with Marilyn Monroe and Jack Lennon. And who else? Tony Curtis. And pretty cool. This is a really neat, unique building, one you're not going to see anywhere else. And we're going to go check it out. Beautiful. See, this is what's nice about these trolley tours. You can get off and walk around and see things and just catch another trolley when you get to the other area. at the beach. It's beautiful. Nice sunny day. No clouds. A little hazy out on the water. But a beautiful day. Can you imagine what this area is probably like in the summer? Yeah. Probably wall to wall people. All this walking around, we've worked up a little bit of an appetite, so let's indulge ourselves in a little sweet treat.
Little Italy is one of the largest neighborhoods in San Diego. After the San Francisco earthquake and fire, a number of Italians were found to be homeless in San Francisco, so they all moved to San Diego. And in just a very short time, the population of San Diego doubled. So a large number of them settled into this area and this became known as Little Italy. So what, what do you think of our day on the old time trolleys? I thought it was very neat. Uh, a lot of interesting stops, a lot of different things to see. I like that, um, you know, I went down by the bay and especially across the Coronado Bridge and on Coronado Island. I don't think I ever was aware that that was there or had never heard of it, really. Yeah, yeah that's a really neat place. I think one of the things that's nice about these trolleys is that, you know, you, it gets you to be able to see everything in one day. And so that if you've got more time to spend here, you can kind of pick out what you want to go do. Instead of trying to, you know, go into it blind, you've got a better idea of, you know, what's available and what's around you. Right. And you don't have to deal with driving around, trying to find a place to park. Yeah. And then if you don't really care for the spot, then you gotta, you know, go all over. But yeah, I mean, if you find some place that you really like and you want to spend more time, then you can choose yourself to, you know, go back there or drive yourself. Yep. You'd have to keep in mind, now the trolleys run from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock. No, but they, But they, no, until 5 o'clock is when they take you back to the, oh, okay. the, the old town. But they do have, you know, their last runs are at different times. And it's about a three-hour ride to take the trolley all the way around. So what you want to do is when you get on, you want to plan your stops right away. You don't want to get on there and think you're going to ride it all the way around and see everything and then get off, start getting off the second time around because you won't have enough time to do anything. And you really won't see anything just riding, riding around. It. Yeah. You have to get off and choose your sights and kind of walk around a little bit. Yeah, and get back on, you get to hear the, the same stories anyways as if you did ride it all the way around. Yeah. So you're not going to miss out on anything. Not really. Yeah. After a long day of touring around San Diego, we ended up in the bar that was used in the movie Top Gun. It's now a Kansas City barbecue place and it's really good. Inside they have a lot of memorabilia and the piano from the original movie. So it's worth a stop. And the barbecue was pretty good too. So what do you think of the place? Movie history here. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize Top Gun was filmed so long ago. It's kind of a neat place. Yeah. 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 Very neat. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit the bell for notifications. Leave us a comment. Have you been to San Diego? Where did you stay? Did you stay in one of the county parks or did you find something else? We'd love to hear from you. This is definitely a place we're going to come back to. It's definitely. probably my favorite city. Right. There's a, a lot to see. A lot we didn't get in because of time, but yeah, we definitely will come back to this area. Yeah, we like it. All right, everybody. Until the next time, we we'll see you down the road. See you down the road. Bye. Bye. But wait, there's more. Our next video, we go to the San Diego Zoo, and we take the dogs to Dog Beach. So if you see that video here and watch next, click on it, or stay tuned. It will be coming soon.